Hey guys, so this event is coming up on Sunday and I want to show you the resource package that I'm putting together for everyone who attends. So it looks kind of tiny right now, like it's just a small list, but there's a bunch of things packed in here so I wanted to talk about it for a second. Let me make sure this is still working. Okay, cool. So let me just go through each of these links quickly. So first of all, there's going to be a link to the recordings and slides for the seminar. Obviously that's not ready yet. We have to actually have the seminar. Then you're going to get a link to the sound system tuning roadmap that looks like this. Um, this is the actual plan that I use for all of the lessons in Pro Audio Workshop Seeing Sound. Cool infographic there. Um, Meyer Sound speaker measurements. What's that? Uh, so this is the page for that and what that's going to allow you to do is download a whole bunch of files that you can import into your audio analyzer like Smart. Let me show you what those look like. Okay, so over here, here's all the files that you download. So you're going to get Smart traces that you can import into Smart. How many more times can I say Smart? Of every Meyer sound speaker. Now, you might not use Meyer sound speakers but it's still a great resource if you want to see what these speakers look like um, measured with an audio analyzer. Um, and then on top of that, there are CSV files for impulse responses and frequency and phase response. Sorry this text is so small here, um, just kind of showing you what these files look like. Okay, let me switch back over. Okay. Um, cool, so you get Meyer Sound speakers. What's next on the list? Verification checklist. So this is the all of the steps that I go through every time I set up my audio analyzer in the field. And you can use it as well. You can go through them one by one. It looks like a lot of steps, but once you learn the process, you can go through them You know, in a few minutes, get your audio analyzer set up fast, but make sure that you have it set up correctly and you're getting good getting good data before you get started. What's next on the list? Equal loudness. I'm just linking to a resource and an article here by Merlin Van Veen because this is a really nice uh, resource. He gives you a download here of these target traces that you can import into Smart to use in the spectrum view so that when during a show you could be soloing uh, you know, the PFL from your mix console so that you can look at uh, the lead singer or the main presenter that you uh, have coming through the mix and you might hear something and you want to compare it. These equal loudness curves I found to be really helpful to show me what are the points in the spectrum that my ear is most sensitive to. And I'm sorry I don't have those open right now, but they look like this image here here on the left. Okay, so I just wanted to link to those because I think it's a great reference. What else do I have for you? Oh, I have a bandwidth, bandwidth versus Q article. Uh, again, just another free article, but it's a great resource here if you want to see the relationship. Why, why do some equalizers use Q and why do some use bandwidth and what is the relationship between those two measurements? And then there's going to be a, a table here on the left that will give you some of those measurements. So for example, uh, if you have a Q of 1.4, that would be a one octave bandwidth, right? So we've got Q here, bandwidth. On top of that though, let's go to the last thing. Oh, you can download MapXD. I've got a resource package here full of files. So let me switch back to the files. Again, sorry these are so tiny. Can you actually see these? Maybe I need to move the screen down. Um, yeah, sorry you can't see these very well. What can I do to make these work better? Oh, I see. Okay, hopefully that fixed it. Okay, now you should be able to see the files on the screen. Uh, sorry you couldn't see those earlier. 
Anyway, these are just some files to go along with the seminar that everyone who attends the seminar is going to get. This first one is pretty cool. This is just a combination of brown noise and pink noise that I got from Mauricio Ramirez. And for uh, a few different reasons, it can really help you in the field and can be a superior test signal to just pink noise. In general, um, it's going to give you uh, more energy in the low end, and we often need extra signal in the low end to overcome the noise floor, especially if you're ever in a building that has that's next to a street that has trucks driving by outside. So I don't want to talk too much about that, but just a cool little file there that you can import into your audio analyzer and use as your test signal instead of just regular pink noise. I've got the mass EQ here from uh, Jorge Pereira in Portugal. He said I could hand that out to my students. Very cool um, Excel spreadsheet that lets you put in the frequencies that you want to use and then it'll basically spit out a filter. It'll tell you the uh, frequencies, the bandwidth, and the gain that you should use on the filter. I've got some audio files here. This is basically just um, the same audio files I'm going to use in the demos for the seminars in case you want to do the same demos at home. I've got a calculator here that will convert bandwidth to Q, in case you ever need that. Um, there's just one image in here. It's actually not that important. It'll be available on the slides as well. And then I've got map XT files in case you want to... Uh, I'm going to do some demos with map XT during the seminar, and it would be a great idea for you to afterwards try to do the exact same thing so you can kind of get it under your hands and see if you really believe me, the things I'm going to tell you during the seminar. All right, let me switch back over. All right, so that is the resource guide that I'll be handing out during the How Do I EQ My Speakers EQ seminar coming up this Sunday. Let me know if you have any questions about this or the seminar. Uh, otherwise, I will hopefully see you on Sunday.